All right, welcome back to driveway party. Not much to tell you this week. Uh, so it's two days past Christmas, and we're here helping the trailer out. It's got a flat tire. We're gonna get rid of this scrap metal, try to cash in on some stuff, and uh, start buying parts for the Camaro, or maybe we'll do the jet boat next. I sold the LT1 engine, I sold a block, two sets of heads, two cams, three oppie sparks, some tall valve covers, roller rockers, ARP bolts, water pumps, oil pans, every single one of my LT1 parts is sold. So I should have enough to go out and buy a new LS engine for myself. New used. We don't do new new. <laughs> All right. So let's get this back to the house and see if we can make a quick buck and keep buying parts. Well, that's another thing sold. All right, so we're back at the house. The trailer tire is holding air. Well, I guess it was the other side. I have it all loaded down with scrap metal. I'm gonna take a run of scrap over, over the weekend. I have a old Chevy Cruze engine in there and just a bunch of junk that's been laying around. So maybe I can cash in on some of this. There's an old ham radio antenna that was behind the back shed forever and uh, yeah, so I didn't show you guys yet, but the the C10 has been leaking. I'm gonna key on and show you in here, the hose, the fuel hose has been leaking. So I might cap it off and I'm gonna go for a ride, get this little kid's Jeep out of here, get, get that line capped off so it doesn't leak. And uh, I have a transmission for the Camaro in the next town over I'm gonna go scoop up, so. Let me show you the leak. Oh, now it's not leaking. Let's start it up. It might have just been too cold. I started it when it was like 10 degrees out the other day. I'm going to back this out of the garage and check it again before I leave. Well, better safe than sorry. I have an adjustable wrench, some caps, and I took the fuel hose off because I know it was leaking the other day. I put this cap on and the cap on the other pump. So we're good to go now. I just have to start the truck and make sure the caps don't leak. So. Yeah, uh, I don't like to mess around with fuel that much. It's not worth the risk, especially since I have all my electronics back here in the box. So at least it's not in the cab though. But uh, yeah, let's go for a ride. Just stopped for fuel, took 7.7 .7 gallons. I got my brandy new used transmission from a guy named Sal. He, uh, he's got a couple hot rods himself, so thanks for showing me all your cool toys, Sal. Mm -hmm. 